Carolyn, we start off by you giving your mother a Mother's Day greeting. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Uh, may you have a joyous day and a joyous year and joyous life. Okay, got a couple questions for you. If your mom was seasoned, what season would she be and why? If mom was a season, she'd be springtime. Cause, well, let me feel that bit. Uh, for me, she's always a breath of fresh air. Uh, when I see her, uh, it's just good to see her. She, she's always a, a good sight for sore eyes. If you're not feeling your best, she, she's smiling. I'm glad to see you. And that's good. Breath of fresh air. Uh, I think of blooming and just peaceful uh, pleasantness. Mm -hmm. Now, um, think of the lessons that you've learned from your mother. I'm sure there have been many. Think of one in particular and tell us about that lesson and how you use it in your life. Well, one, there are two really I like to, to say about one. Uh, I don't think I don't know if she ever said it much, but and she has said it some, but she's really lived it. That is, if you can help somebody, you can help them, uh, and you don't lose anything because it always comes back to you. Uh, I've seen her do this over and over and over again, seemingly never just tired of helping people. And uh, obviously, I still need to learn that. When I learned this one, I learned that I need to learn it more. When we were on our trip just this um, past couple weeks uh, when we needed help and some people helped and some people didn't. Uh, my mother always helped and uh, I'm ready to do, to do that more and more mm -hmm. and understand that uh, her prosperity is because of that. She always helps people and I, it seems like she ne she's never in need. Another lesson is the one I call uh, her whole chicken lesson or story and the the theme there is that regardless of where you are in life, you can always move forward. You can get from point A to point B. Uh, at that time, she didn't have Thanksgiving dinner to eat, and of course now she can eat practically anything she wants to. Uh, that's a good lesson for me, that I can move from where I am to where I want to be. All right. Um, flip back to your uh, the time when you were punished uh, severely or whooped, and... Uh, you remember one of those times and tell us about it. I really don't remember a time being whooped because uh, Mama didn't whoop me much. I got most of my whoopings from Marianne. Mm -hmm. But I do remember, uh, I think, what were the equivalent of whoopings for Mama, and that was to threaten us. She threatened that she was going to leave us all and go to the crazy house if we didn't clean the house, uh, be intelligent, or do something. And I took it seriously. I really thought that she was going to uh, pack her bags and go on off to Bryce. So, when she said that, I, I straightened up. I, I did whatever she was asking me to do. That was my whipping. <laughs> okay. Um, Carolyn, if your mother's hands could talk, what would they say? Uh, they would say, uh, I can do a lot. I can do all that I want to do. Uh, I can plant a garden. I can... <clears throat> raise a hood and see what's under there. I can wash clothes, I can iron, I can uh, make flowers pretty, I can sew clothes, I can cook the finest meal. Uh, I can do. Okay. Uh, that I'd say to her is that uh, we said is things that she does for you that are special. Mm -hmm. And I've always appreciated, like like today, you know, we come and she says she's prepared a special dish of collard greens for us. And I don't quite know what, what, what that means, but uh, that's always nice for me. That when Mama knows how I want to go down a certain road, for instance, in eating and uh, eating, she uh, kind of accommodates herself to that. You know, she would always cook a vegetable that, that didn't have meat in it. And as best she can, she prepares foods that I can eat, like uh, salmon patties uh, when, when we're coming here. And I know that's probably a little extra trouble sometimes, and uh, I really do appreciate it. Okay, and um, what's your fondest memory? Huh, let's see. As a child uh, or probably, as an adult? Probably, I have a lot of, uh, I think, flashbacks to, and I'm not a person who remembers a lot about my childhood, but Mom used to play baseball with us. Mm -hmm. We'd be out here on this very lawn and we'd mark off the bases and we had enough 
enough of us to make two teams, really. Uh, and I'm probably officially to make one whole team, nine or however it takes. But we played baseball. She'd hit the ball and run and, and uh, throw it and all that. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun for her. All right. Well, now it's a free for all. Anything else? Any closing words that you'd like to say to your mom? Uh, just like to say again, Happy Mother's Day, and uh, want you to always know how much you mean to me. Um, now that I'm a mother, I I understand how much of a great responsibility that is. On, on one hand, I mean, we are shaping the lives of children, and I draw a lot on what you've done uh, as a mother uh, and what you've given me in passing that on to my own child. And uh, I'm just real grateful for it that I have as much as I do to, to give to her. And that's because you gave me as much as you did. So I appreciate that. I love you very much. Um, always have, always will. And uh, that's it. I want you to play this uh, whenever you get ready and, and feel it and know it. Ciao.